Welcome back to another episode in our tutorial series on making an FPS in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, we're going to be covering a simple topic, reload animations. It's something that you guys have asked for for a while, and of course I take my time with these episodes just because of how, how busy I am with my music projects and everything. So thanks for the patience, but I wanted to get this one knocked out because it's really easy. So let's get right into it, and uh, if you know where your animation blueprint is, perfect. Go ahead and open that up, but for those of you who don't, a good little shortcut to find the one that you're using is open up your player character right and of course you can always go to your world settings panel here on the left and uh, hit the search icon to find your player character and then you can click on the mesh and you can see your animation class and you can hit that little search icon to find it in the context menu so this is going to be our animation blueprint that is currently in use so I've kind of jumped straight to where we'll be but you might uh, you might be in this view if you've followed along with the tutorial series your animation blueprint might look a little like this or the graph will look like this and if you're in the event graph it'll look like this what you'll want to do is go over to your uh, little panel here and double click the anim graph and then we'll zoom in and we'll go to our gun equipped locomotion. Now if you haven't followed the tutorial series and you're just viewing this for reload animations, uh, the first pinned comment m mentions it as well. You know, this is a series and so if something doesn't add up, if something doesn't look quite right, and if you can't find something, uh, then take a look at the the series playlist uh, link is in the description and you know, you can uh, find what we've done and whatnot. But uh, as as a matter of principle, this is, this is a pretty uh, cut and paste kind of thing um, if you have the reload animation and of course like uh, reload system already built in so what we first want to do is drag off of our idle in our gun equipped locomotion and add a state and the state that we want to add is reload and uh, we'll actually want to go back to our uh, content browser and make a file here so we'll want to go to where our weapons are or however you want to go organize this ours is content then blueprints then weapons and I'm just gonna make a new enumerator here I'm gonna call it gun type can't have spaces in the name and we've just got uh, a few that we can add here right so we can add rifle we can add a pistol uh, we can add a shotgun and uh, th these are just a few examples I think there's more animations than that but we'll just save that up and then we actually want to apply this to our weapon we want to know what kind of weapon we're holding so let's open our BP weapon master and let's just add a variable called weapon type uh, and I really should have called it the same thing gun type uh, let's see I'll call it. no we will want weapon type because uh, I'll, I'll rename this this variable here actually um, because we'll, we'll have more than just guns but we want this variable here and uh, we can just compile it and it should default to rifle perfect uh, and in all of our children we can set this variable to something else so in our class defaults it'll show up there and you can set the variable to whatever type of weapon it is so then what we'll want to do is go into our animation blueprint again and hop in our event graph and we don't have too much variables that are being set uh, from the player but we do want to uh, well, we first we want to make a variable called weapon type, and I'm just gonna get that variable, okay? And we want to set this based off of the equipped weapon or equipped item, and then we can get. Oh, sorry. Uh, we do need to cast this to our weapon master actually and we'll just make a pure cast um, just get an is valid as well in case we don't have anything attached if it is valid perfect if it's not 
we will just spit it out right there. And I'll kind of translate this here real quick whenever we're done. Um, let's see. We want get weapon type. And we'll set that there. Okay, so what this does is we already have some a variable from our player being set locally uh, within the blueprint, and that's whether or not we have an item equipped. Uh, but we also are wanting to see what kind of weapon it is, if, if it's a weapon. So if there's an item equipped, uh, or I, rather, we're, we're checking is valid, so we're, we're trying to get a property from our equipped item, right? If it's valid, then good, we can get that property. But if we try to get this variable and, and reference this without there actually being anything in our hands, we're going to get a lot of errors. And so once again, uh, this is just a good way to get on top of errors ahead of time. And then, of course, if there is something valid, then we will set the weapon type uh, from whatever the weapon type is in our equipped item. So... Uh, we've got this. Let's go back to our uh, locomotion or our anim graph and open up reload. So what we can do is weapon type, and we should be able to blend poses uh, on weapon type here. And we'll just drag the result there. And you can add the pins. As you can see, we only have the default pose here which is uh, you could leave blank or you could leave rifle, whatever you want your like default reload animation to be. But where are all the others? So like I said, you can add the pins here. You can click rifle, you can click pistol, you can click shotgun, whatever. So I'm just gonna get uh, re the reload animations here. And so let's see, we've got rifle, shotgun, pistol, and then we've got hip and iron sights. So we, we're not using the hip animations. That's where he's kind of got the gun lower. But if you're in a third person, you might. So, of course, just use whatever animations you like and whatever fit. But we'll get uh, reload rifle. Um, actually, no. We'll want rifle iron sights. Reload pistol. Um, and then reload shotgun. So that way, they'll just be here. And then whenever we add more weapons and whatever and, and designate the the item to be a shotgun or a pistol or what have you, then it will just designate the animate the reload animation already. Um, and here's something that we can do. So if it has no uh, if if it's not identified as a type of weapon, we'll just leave this blank. So that way it'll T pose and then uh, it should default to rifle, of course, but it'll just T pose, and then we can know, hey, we should we should set that uh, weapon to have a, a property of what kind of weapon it is. But it should default to rifle iron sights here. So let's see real quick. If I go back here and we say, uh, let's make a new bool here. Reloading question mark. And we just, once again, want to make that a bool. I'm actually going to call it is reloading. And we want to get it, rather, or not set it, and just connect that there. And uh, we want it to go back, but on the condition of us not reloading. And then we want to make sure that we're properly getting that variable set. So let's uh, back in our event graph where we're setting properties from our player. Uh, we have the is valid and not valid going out here. So I'm just going to have them both go to this little reroute node. And what we want is set, set is reloading based off of is reloading in the player. So if we take a look at our player blueprint real quick here, I'm going to save up just for safety. And we take a look at our reloading, which I do need to comment this right here. Uh, we see that we've got reloading checked, 
we've got a little uh, delay here that we set up and then reloading unchecked. And uh, the nice thing is, is that delay is perfectly timed, should be perfectly timed with our animation. And if it's not, we can play around with that. But you'll see that whenever we play, it's going to immediately reload and then delay the, the fact that we're stopped reloading until the end of the animation. So we won't be able to shoot or anything, but it's going to delay, uh, it's not going to delay the ammo going into the clip. And you'll see that's actually a little jarring if you're paying attention because he hasn't put the new ammo back in the clip. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to pick up a weapon. Okay, we'll shoot off a couple shots and we'll hit R. So we're starting to reload, but it happens instantly. It's, it's just boom. Um, and that's, that's not what we want. We want there to be a little bit of delay here. So let's actually take a look at how long our animation takes to load because I thought we had already timed it, but we haven't. And that's fine because I, I do want to show how to do that. So let's grab our ri rifle iron sights animation. And here we can see it is... It's a 2.17 second animation, right? And it looks like he puts the new ammo in. Let's see, pulls it out, puts it on the back, and puts puts the new ammo in at about 1.76, okay? So I already have these values actually separated on a, another project here, and I'm gonna copy those just for the sake of ease. But that's basically how you do it. You, you take the total, you subtract uh, however much uh, uh, time has elapsed whenever he inserts the, anima or inserts the ammo, and then the remainder is going to be what we'll use after the delay. And, and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So we've got is reloading. Okay, that's good. So then what we want to do, I'm going to stretch all this out here. We'll want to delay... For 1.784 seconds. That's what I've got here on my other project. Okay, we delay and then we reload. That's all good. And we've got this reload variable that's uh, determining our delay from the other one. And we'll use that later. I'm just going to set this aside because we'll have actually a dynamic reload system depending on the duration of, excuse me, based on triggers from animations, but we'll, we'll get there later. The remainder of this delay needs to be 0.383. And and the reason is why is because this and this make up the sum of our, our finished animation. So you've got a, we were marked as reloading, we delay, and this animation's running this entire time. The second, the second we hit here, our animation's running. So we delay, and then the ammo pops up into our um, HUD, and then we de delay for a little bit longer just to let that animation finish, and then we say that we're not reloading anymore. So then we can start firing and everything, okay? So let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> and a lot, I know a lot of you who have addressed the issues with like certain picking up and whatnot, and I, and I do need to add like the generalized pickup uh, system. I've just made the laser focused one because that's the kind of the one I like. But let's uh, just empty this clip here. Well, I don't need to empty it, but we can reload. We run the animation, puts the clip in, and it's done, right? So we're shooting, shooting, shooting. Reload. Clip goes in, and we're done. Now, I noticed there's a little bit of delay there for the ammo to pop up, and I realize we still have this little animation delay. Uh, we don't actually need this here that I, that I know of, so let's just uh, try that again. We'll shoot, reload, and there we go. The ammo pops up before uh, we actually finish the animation, as it should. So I'm just going to... I'm going to hit reload, and then I'm going to try and fire immediately after. So reload, and I'm not able to fire. I'm able to aim down sights while I'm reloading, which we don't want, right? I'm able to do that. We can we can fix that real quickly. But I'm not able to fire until the animation's done. So let's fix the reloading or the aiming issue while we're able to reload. Or, yes, while 
able to aim while we're reloading. There we go. Basically, um, can aim, yeah, should be set to false whenever we start reloading. So, set can aim to false. And then we'll copy that to the end whenever we're done reloading. And we'll be able to aim again. Okay. Popped up on my other window there. And we'll pick up. Okay, fire off a couple shots, reload. And I'm spamming right click and I'm not able to aim until the animation finishes, which is what we want. Okay, so I think that about does it. If you guys have any weird bugs with this, uh, hopefully someone in the community will be able to help you. I just have not been able to set aside enough time to answer comments. I, I see your comments. I do get the notifications on my phone and everything, and I, I feel bad because I'm, I'm not able to answer comments. I just don't have the time like I'd like to. I, I try to here and there, and you might see that every now and then, so don't please don't feel bad if I don't get to your comment, but I'm, I'm just very busy, and that's also why the these tutorials take so long to make because you can see it's not rocket science per se but it it's it's just my schedule I'm so occupied with my other projects I'm trying to work on an album right now and I've got a full-time job just so much crap going on right now regardless Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around and showing interest. If you have any big recommendations, uh, aside from finishing the inventory system, which I know you guys want so much, inventory's hard, but if you got any recommendations of, of big features to add or, or just little tweaks that I can uh, do to improve, and then by all means, please chuck those in and, and I'll hopefully be able to check those out. But uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.